Jeff Early and his family have been waiting almost 30 years to learn the truth about his mother's disappearance. 30 years. Imagine not knowing what happened to your mother over that length of time, not knowing if she was alive or dead. It is that crippling uncertainty that the loved ones of missing persons face almost on a daily basis. But for one family, the endless wondering and waiting well, it may finally be over. On a Wednesday afternoon in July of 2011, Jeff Early finally gets a phone call from the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. She says, she's sitting down. I was like, do I need to be? And she says, that's your mom. And that is, she goes, I'll let you go so you can talk to your family. And I just, I shut down for a few minutes and then I called her. What did he say to you, Lisa? It's her. I see it in your face now that it's still so painful as it should be. It's your mom. Just, it's, even though it was old, it was like it was brand new. Like it just happened. And even though you felt you knew because nothing would keep her from you guys all those years. Just like he said, you just can't, you think you're gonna have, have your, all your emotions under control and it just, it was just like a flood of emotions. I couldn't even talk to him. I had to get off the phone. After 29 years of waiting, Amy Hurst's family finally knows the truth. So here we are, originally looking for one missing person that occurred in Pasco County in 1982, and we actually end up discovering another person who was missing. Now it's up to Pasco County detectives to find out how Amy Hurst wound up dead in the Gulf of Mexico. You've got a 30-year murder to investigate. 30 years. That was my expression. I'm like, I got a brand new 30-year-old homicide. Oh my goodness. Where do you start? Any homicide's difficult, but I had no witnesses, very little evidence. And I had a family that deserved justice that I just wanted so bad to be able to help. 